A teddy bear will soon be reunited with his five-year-old owner, all thanks to the actions of a White County deputy. This time tomorrow, the bear will be making the 500-mile trip to Minnesota to return home. News 18's Alexis Moberger joins us now and explains how the deputy made the lucky discovery. Alexis? Dan, a bond between a child and their bear can be a tough one to break. Luckily for one five-year-old, he doesn't have to. All thanks to one deputy determined to help. Deputy Matthew White received an unusual call late Saturday night. It was from the mother of a five-year-old boy from Minnesota named Freddie, who had noticed his teddy bear was missing. The bear was really important to him. It was the mother's bear and she passed it down to her son. Freddie thought the teddy fell out of the car on I-65 when the family stopped on the side of the road. He hoped some type of police officer could stop by and check the area. Because of traffic and wind, Deputy White believed that finding the bear would be a long shot. But it turned out to be a lot easier than expected. Put the car in park, probably took one or two steps out of the vehicle and I saw the bear just laying on the side of the road. Here in White County, just five miles west of Brookston, is where the deputies found Freddie's teddy. He took it serious. He went out. He put forth the time and effort. And as a result, we have a happy mother and son up in Minnesota. Sheriff Patrick Schaefer says the bear will be in the mail first thing Thursday morning. You know, a lot of the calls that we get to, we don't know what to expect. And this one, sometimes, you know, when you can, you get a chance to, to make a huge positive impact on somebody, this kid will probably never forget this story. Freddie's mom explained to me earlier it was incredible that Deputy White was able to find the bear. She says it was a long, exhausting day on the road and felt heartache for her son. And as you can imagine, Freddie can't wait to get back his bear. Alexis Moberger, News 18.